Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, hold on a second. Sorry, does your nose ever get so plugged up that you can't smell anything? It kind of even stops you from tasting stuff. Have you ever wondered about that with bees? Can bees' noses get clogged? Can they blow their noses? Do bees even have noses? Well, the simple answer is no, bees don't have noses, but they do have some really cool sensory cells to help them interact with the world. That's what we want to talk about today. So bees' sensory cells are kind of concentrated in their antennae. They have lots of different kinds of cells on these antennae. If you were able to look really close, you'd see the antennae are covered with hairs and little pits. And these hairs and little pits are connected with sensory organs. They have chemosensory organs on their antennas. Chemosensory meaning chemical sensing. They can sense the chemicals in the air and on the flowers around them. So we have chemosensory cells too. These are our taste buds and in our nose. So this is how we smell and taste the world. So a bee smells and tastes the world with its antennas. Some studies show that bees can smell a flower from over a kilometer away through the air. Also, because their antennas are sticking out the sides of their head, they can smell in binocular smell vision or whatever you want to call it. They can smell the direction that things are coming in. That's pretty cool. Also, bees have mechanoreceptors on their antenna. We have mechanoreceptors. These are our, our touch sensors. Also, this is how we hear with mechanoreceptors. So bees actually can feel the world with their antennae, and some studies show they can actually hear the world with their antennae. Bees' antennas are really cool, covered with sensory cells. But the bees' antennas are getting into the flowers, and they're, they're digging in the dirt, and they're getting covered with gunk, and that stops them from being able to interact with the world in the same way. It kind of plugs up their noses. So how does a bee blow its nose? Well, I've spent a lot of time looking really closely at bees under microscopes, and I've noticed on all bees on their front leg, kind of in their elbow area, there's this kind of interesting notch with a little comb in it. This is actually a built-in antenna cleaner. So if you look closely at the front leg, you see there's a little groove in there. That groove fits the antenna just perfectly, and it has a little comb on it. On the other side, it has kind of this little flap that kind of locks the antenna in there. The bee will lock its leg around its antenna and pull the antenna through there. And as it pulls the antenna through, it cleans off all that dirt and pollen and any gunk that's kind of collected on the antenna. So it's kind of like it's blowing its nose. It's cleaning off those sensory cells so it can smell the world and taste the world and even hear the world. Isn't that cool? So I've watched a lot of bees, and as I've videoed bees, you can see a lot of times before they take off or as they're cleaning their bodies off, they spend some time to clean off their antennae, especially after they're foraging in flowers. They take, take a break, clean off their antennae, and then keep foraging. It's pretty cool. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Bees kind of do blow their nose, in a way. Well, they clean their antennae off anyway. So subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media if you want to learn more about bees. Thanks for watching.